really want? Kingdom Hearts. When Kingdom Hearts is ours, we can exist fully and completely. Alright, hey guys, welcome to the uh, second to last data video. This time, we're going to be taking on Zaldin and Zigbar. Zaldin is uh, pretty easy, and uh, I mean, there's not really a loop or anything, you just kind of fight him. But he's not that tough. Guardian Soul is good because its ability, Reaction Boost, will make uh, the Jump Reaction Command do more damage. So anyway, at the start, just dodge roll under his uh, Wind Orb thing and do a uh, combo. <sighs> Excuse me, a bit tired. So anyway, you're going to want to uh, guard his attacks. Um, and uh, the... The, like the, a reaction command will appear, and then you'll have a chance to uh, use learn. And after you you use learn, which you can use up to nine times, you'll uh, be able to use jump, which will break his windshield. Uh, when he has his windshield up, he's gonna take barely any damage at all. So uh, it's imperative that you uh, use jump to break his shield. Now. Um, Wow, I just noticed that the Japanese name of the learn reaction command is learning. Good game. Anyway, um, yeah, he's, I mean, he's not really all that tough. Um, he just has a lot of HP. Uh, when he does this move, it comes down faster than it does in his, uh, normal version, but, uh, he dodge it pretty much the same way, just, like, jump a bit. Um, use reflect, and then, uh, spam jump. But, I mean, there's not really much to say about this fight, except that for the desperation move, you're going to want to, uh, just glide away from him. And then, uh, when his, uh, like, dragon kind of thing, I guess, his dragon lance thing, is, uh, firing its laser, or column of wind, or whatever you want to call it, uh, just, uh, glide from one end of the, uh, Whatever end of the bridge you're on, just glide to the other end, and you should be fine. Um, in his last phase, after he uses the DM once, um, just jump into the air and use Magnega, because uh, that'll keep him from... Uh, I mean, he'll either remake his windshield and then uh, uh, like start attacking you, like teleporting again, or he will... Uh, Shit. Uh, he will do the uh, move where he jumps down from the sky, which is what you want. But yeah, it's kind of an easy fight. Uh, it's no big deal. So uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, well, I mean, this isn't the end of the video, so uh, never mind. See you with the uh, the whatever his name is, Zigbar. Yeah, there we go.
<laughs> That's right. He used to give me that same exact look. All right. So here's Zigbar. He is definitely either the hardest or the second hardest organization member. No homo. Um. But seriously speaking, like he's uh he's really difficult. Uh, his beam spam is insane, and uh, he the the bullets come at a really high speed. Uh, have Star Seeker equipped because uh, the strategy this battle is pretty much an aerial battle, so you're going to want uh, good uh, aerial attack power. Hero's Pride, no, Hero's Crest. Sorry. Uh, Hero's Crest is good as well because it has uh, air combo boost. Really, either is fine, but I prefer Star Seeker. I don't know why. I just do. Uh, so when the field is normal, or uh, for most of the other fields, you do a standard combo, five horizontal slashes, and then a finisher. De-equip aerial finish because you wanna you, you want your finishers to come out quickly. When he switches to this floor. Don't do uh, finishers on them. Just attack. Use five aerials. Uh, I mean horizontal slashes. I kept only using four. I don't know why. But yeah, you should. If you have two air combo pluses and star seeker, you should be able to do five uh, horizontal slashes. And uh, don't do a finisher because if you do a finisher, then uh, he'll revert the floor back to normal. Um. So yeah. Uh, just dodge rolled his hits. It's really simple. Just, I mean, just watch what I'm doing. I dodge roll to one place and then I dodge roll back to where I started. Jump up and there he is. And, uh, really the fight isn't that bad. Uh, as long as you can get him onto this floor. Um, after a while, he'll do his desperation move. So, jump into the uh, top left corner. Uh, dodge roll around and then glide around in circles. You can also run in circles, it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure the DM doesn't go at a faster speed than it does in the normal fight. Anyway, here comes his last form. I don't have a strategy for this last form because it's kind of a clusterfuck. In general, I like once I got to this point, I just kind of spammed uh, reflect and stuff because I didn't want to die. Anyway, there I had to pause for a while because, uh, you know, family came home. But, yeah, uh, this fight, I mean, once you get to, uh, his last form, just kinda do whatever. I mean, sorry, but I can't really help here because, uh, yeah. Also, limit form is super shitty for this fight. Don't use it unless you're just using it to recover, uh, HP and MP. So, anyway... Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, this battle is really hard, so, uh, if you are playing this game or are going to play this game, don't get discouraged. Also, limits are kind of shitty on them. Don't try them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys at the next fight. Get down!